I, I think it went to a different level with our team. I think everybody realized that uh, you know it, it, Louisville was now going to be a national uh, contender year in and year out, and, and that's what Coach Crum uh, did through his 30 years. You know, and it, obviously winning a championship, but. Uh, he, he just built it into not just you know every now and then, but an every year thing, and, and we were just fortunate enough to just be the, a part of that. I would say. How did he sell it to you? I know he recruited you when he was at UCLA. So how did he sell Louisville to you, and kind of what made you buy in? Well, uh, my freshman coach at the high school uh, and Coach Crum had become friends. And he recruited uh, Pete Turkovich from my high school to go to UCLA and came back. And a lot of it was, uh, you know, I'm going to do some of the same things, if not the same things, that UCLA did under Coach Wooden, and which we did. We ran the same offense. Uh, he approached the game the same way. Uh, and that's why, you know, fortunately, unfortunately, when we played UCLA, uh, no one had a real advantage on uh, what they were going to do because we all knew what, and they knew what we were going to do. Uh, but so I think that was it, and the fresh, my freshman coach uh, really influenced me, that, influencing me and the family that uh, you know you need to go with Coach Crum. It's going to it's going to work out for you, and obviously uh, history showed that it did. <laughs> Uh, during that game, and I was in San Diego, I went, so you're running the same offense. I mean, did you all make any tweaks or, or add any kind of new options to try and just something either at half or, or during the game? Or was it just like, okay, who can execute with the other team knowing that, I mean, what you're going to do? It, it was absolutely that, who can execute. And, and none of the first options would work because they all knew, you know, we knew what they were going to do. And, and a lot of the game was, uh, I, you know, thinking back on it, uh, uh, the, the nuance of, you know, the, the offensive rebound, the defensive rebound, whether the ball bounces here or there. You know, I remember we ran a lot of the uh, options on plays and, and uh, uh, Dave Myers was guarding Alan Murphy. And uh, you know, playing with Dave uh, in the pros after that, he, you know, he said, you know, I, I was hurting, but uh, knees were hurting, but I wasn't going to tell anybody. And I said, yeah, we knew that because Murphy scored 33 points on you, so something was hurting. Uh, and a lot of it was back doors, this and back doors, that, and, and Dave couldn't keep up. So it was a lot of second, third options, and uh, and we had been running the offense, some of us, for three years, so we were good at it. And uh, obviously they they were a very good team also, but it, 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 it got down to, a lot, in my opinion, how the ball bounced at the end of the game determined who was going to win the game. And I think that's exactly what happened. Time for one more, anyone. What's it going to feel like being back on the court with these guys today? Uh, you know, we were together last night, and uh, it was a little emotional, you know. It, it, it really was, and uh, uh, I think two things. One, how quickly time has gone by, uh, and then the fact that uh, uh, there's a connection when you're on a team. Uh, there's a bond. There's something that happens that continues for as long as you got as the guys are around and and I think that's what we experienced last night there there's a bond there's something and even if you don't see the guys every year there's just something about having being in the trenches something about playing together something about seeing guys at their best and guys at their worst that uh, that it's hard to explain but that just doesn't go away, and uh, uh, it's a bond. That's probably the easy, easiest way to say it, but it's, it's something that happens in, in each heart, every, every player's heart, that doesn't go away. And, uh, and maybe because they saw us all at our worst. So they, when they see you at your worst, there's nothing to hide. And so when you see each other, they, you know, I really know who you are. And, uh, and even through all of that, I still appreciate and love everything that we went through together. Well, thank you so much. Very quickly, because uh, Junior, uh, I believe Kurt Gowdy called the game. Right, he did. He said it was one of the greatest games, if not the greatest game he ever saw. Obviously, the greatest game you ever played in with UCLA. Well, 
if we had won it, it'd have been the greatest game I ever played in. <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, Dave Myers and I, uh, we were rookies together at Milwaukee and, and uh, roommates, and talked about that game uh, the first year all the time. And uh, he thought that it was out of all the games they won, he was there for the, the streak and all that. That 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 was the best basketball game he'd ever played in. And, uh, you know, I, I, yeah, it had been better if we had won, but I, I won't take that away. It, it, was, it was just one of those things that happens. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, the ball bounced wrong. Richard Washington makes a baseline jump shot, and, uh, and we don't get to play Kentucky for the national championship. So. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Could you, could you okay. open that door?